Hello everyone and welcome back to Revy Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's lesson is a nice and quick one. We will see how to resolve this problem here. When you try to open a Dynamo file, this can occur. And it's a bit of a misleading message because the file here isn't actually corrupted. We will see why this is happening as well as the fix. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's see about this problem. All I did was this. I went to Dynamo, choose Open, and then browse to a Dynamo file that I know is still working, this one here. As soon as you try to open it, you get this error message. It's saying this Dynamo file is corrupted and that's why it cannot be opened. But is that the case though? Let's close this one down. And then here in my second Revit window, I can also open Dynamo here. Let me bring it to the screen now. And we can try to open the same script in this Dynamo window. That's the same one there, test1.dyn. And you can see it opens just fine. So what's happening over here? If I go to this other window of Dynamo, go to help and choose about, you can see the Dynamo version here is 1.3. Meanwhile, if I go to this one on the right and choose the same option, About, the version here is now 2.5. This particular Dynamo script file here, I created it in this Dynamo window of the higher version. And that's why when I try to open it in the lower version over here, this Dynamo 1.3 window just doesn't know what to do with this file. It cannot understand a script created by a newer version. That's why you get this error. The solution then is of course to open this script in the correct Dynamo version. Let's see how we can do this. I will open another window of Revit 2018 now. We're going for this lower Revit version because since Revit 2019, Dynamo 1.3 is no longer available. And that's why this problem, it usually happens to people of Revit versions 2018, 2017 or earlier. Okay, in here I will just quickly create a new project. just so I can open Dynamo and show you the solution. So with this open now, I can go to the Manage tab and open Dynamo from here. Sometimes it could be under your Add-ins tab, so check both if you couldn't find your Dynamo icon. Next step, let's launch it from this ribbon. And here's the trick, you need to know which version to go for. This window, by the way, it only appears the first time you run Dynamo in a Revit session. So for example, if I go back to this Revit 2018 window that I opened from before and then close Dynamo down, if I now go and open Dynamo again from this window here, it won't ask which version I want to run because it just remembers the choice that I made before. If we go back to this new window now, we have the choice of selecting the version. And because I know the problem appears when I open a Dynamo 2 file in Dynamo 1.3, this time, let's go for Dynamo 2.0. And here, if I try to go and open the same file from test1.dyn, it opens up very nicely for me now. No problem whatsoever. So, the key is to remember which script file you saved in which Dynamo version and make sure you use the same version to open it from then on. If you enjoy this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now, enjoy using Dynamo and I'll see you in the next lesson.